morning and welcome to Winnipeg. Yes, it is Yamato Cup Day. IJN, Imperial Japanese Navy. You know, <laughs> uh, when I, about five years ago, I had some Tamiya paint and I think it was, <clears throat> I, I saw the IGN, it was IGN something gray or something and I thought it was, I thought it was LGN and I was saying Lynn Gray. <laughs> oh, people must have cringed when they heard me say that. Anyway, Yamato Day. I have not forgotten about the Yamato. I, I know I say that a lot. Uh, I'm still thinking about it. I'm still hoping that maybe it'll, I'll be able to get it. Maybe there is a place in the bottom of the, of the ship case there that, that it'll fit. Uh, now, uh, do you remember about, oh, 10 days ago, uh, somebody by the name of Brian sent uh, photos of his uh, submarine build. He's doing the same submarine. I think he's a little, he's a little further ahead. So anyway, he, he sent photos and he also sent a photo of the Yamato he built. And I can't remember exactly what I said, but it was something to the effect of, well, I didn't want to start showing photos that were not exactly related to the, uh, you know, to the submarine build. And so I, I, I wasn't going to show it, but then I thought about it and I told him, you know what, when we have the Yamato Cup, I'll show your, your photos. So he sent two photos and here they are. So there you go, Brian. I kept my word. <laughs> Congratulations, by the way. Looks good. Looks good. Okay. What what scale what scale was that? Was it 350 or 200? I, I couldn't really tell. I suppose if I was to steady the photos a little better, I'd be able to tell. Oh, by the way, I really like the way the uh, you put one of the ships on on the main deck, like the boats, and and uh, uh, most most people have the they don't put the boats on because on the real ship they had them tucked underneath, protected, which was kind of unique. I don't think anybody else did that. I mean, that's how big that ship was. They, they had a, uh, you might call it a, like an aircraft hangar, only they had a boat hangar. Uh, <laughs> and they, they had all their boats uh, hidden, which would have been great. There'd been less shrapnel wrecking them. <laughs> okay, enough of that. We are probably going to be able to finish step 19 today. Uh, the, the reason being... Uh, uh, we've basically just got a couple of pieces here to paint and uh, then it, it looks like you know what I, th I think there's a piece that I didn't get here yeah it looks like I'm missing a piece oh no I got, I got this piece okay we'll uh, You know what? M Missy just came out and she's going to be at my door in about 30 seconds. She, she does her, she does her uh, tinkle and then she heads for my door. So I, I knew that she was going to come out and I got, I grabbed my cell phone and I know there's people like to, to see her. Uh, <laughs> so uh, in fact, here she comes. She's coming right now. So let's get this thing going here. I'm coming, Missy. I'm coming. I'm coming. Hi, Ron. We're kind of hurting. That's all right. No problem. I told the viewers Missy's coming. So, yeah, there's people who want to see you. Yeah, there's people who want to see you. You are just so excited, and I have new dog cookies for you. This is going to be your first day of getting the new flavor. Yes. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Turkey and sausage. Yeah. Here, here's a here's a new one. And, you know, I think they're bigger. Oh, she'll be she'll be pleased with that. Yeah. <laughs> see Hello, you. Hello, everyone. <laughs> yeah. We'll see you later, Max.
Take good care. Okay. Thanks a lot, Rob. You betcha. Okay. I hope that worked out. <laughs> uh, I'll dump it in if it did. And if it didn't, I don't think I'm going to want to reshoot this whole scene. So, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, another thing I wanted to talk about. I think it was the day before yesterday. The episode was extremely long. It was extremely frustrating. I made the mistake of not editing as I went. In other words, usually I've mentioned this before. Usually what I'll do is I'll, I'll shoot a little bit and then I'll run into the computer room and I'll, I'll edit it out and I'll come back and I'll shoot a little bit more. And, and that day I didn't do that. And I just had almost an hour's footage. Um, it was so long that when I sat down to edit it, I was getting tired of doing it and I was, I was doing a sloppy job. There was, a, there was one scene when I turned around uh, uh, and I went to get some, I think I went to get some of Tennessee, one of Tennessee Jim's mini Q-tips. And I, I couldn't find it. I knew where it was. It was in the back and, you know, I'm, I'm rattling around there trying, trying to get it. And I, I forgot to dub out or to cut out that, that footage. Uh, that was a terrible episode and I apologize for that. One of the viewers actually mentioned that it, it was very frustrating and yeah. So we don't want to be doing that anymore. We're going to edit as we go and uh, try and cut out the nonsense. So, uh, like maybe this is nonsense. <laughs> uh, I do have a rollback. I did come back to the model table. I did finish the decals. It's in the rollback. I think I did a better job. And there's less non less frustrating nonsense in it. So uh, let's just roll back, get it over with, and then move on to 19 here and and see how it goes. I'm I'm kind of anxious to see uh you know how how things turned out uh, with Missy. I guess I better shut this off. I'm still not used to this thing. <laughs> okay, uh, let's roll back. Okay, we're getting about an hour later start here this evening than we did yesterday. And it is my plan not to frustrate people. I, I guess, uh, yeah, things got a little bit frustrated yesterday. Uh, I was frustrated. Everybody was frustrated. It, the, uh, it just did, the decal just was not going on. And, uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to quickly cut out this this one. We're going to, we're going to do the largest one. We've done the two smaller ones, and we're going to do this one. I'm going to just go ahead and quickly cut it out off camera, get it done. Um, my hope is that uh, in, I was having trouble man, man, manipulating the uh, decal around. And it was because I was using a paintbrush. Somebody suggested, why not use your hobby knife? And I think that's what I'm going to very carefully do because the point will sort of dig into the edges and I should be able to pull it around. Hopefully, that's what's going to be the plan. Uh, okay, let's uh, stop chattering and uh, get this removed and uh, in the water here. And hopefully, it's going to work out. All right. Okay, it is my hope now that because the raised parts of this radio or whatever it is are not too raised I won't need to trim them off. That's that's my hope. And I'm just uh, sort of bathing everything here with the uh, micro set. Okay. Now we are going to try and get our decal off. Okay, now to manipulate it around, I'm going to use the point of the knife here. Yes, that works much better. Now, I think I basically have it 
could maybe go just a little more to the right there like that maybe on the top to the right I'll pull on it yeah okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the thirsty brush thing try and absorb some of the water I've got a bit of a wrinkle going on right here and see if I can poke that down now when if we do the solve set thing later You can't see me doing it, but I'm painting the green cloth on the table here with the, with the brush to try and get the, the water out of it. Okay, this one corner bothers me a bit. Don't think there's a whole lot I can do about it. As I as I mentioned, I think that the solver set is going to help. Okay, I think that most of the moisture has has uh, come out from underneath the decal. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do the solver set thing, and uh, just be very careful not to. Uh, catch the edges and pull it crooked. Now, now this should melt, let the, the plastic meld. At least that's what I'm hoping is going to happen. I'm not going to poke at it. If you notice right here and right here, th those dials are starting to pop, if you know what I mean. And right here we got a little knob. And here. Okay, now let's, let's not let's not go poking at it. I don't think I need to do the edges because it didn't drape over it over the edge. Okay, we're just gonna let that s maybe we'll maybe we'll do the time lapse thing. Yeah, I'll just leave the camera run. We'll do the time lapse thing. Okay, I have used the heat gun here for about the I guess the last half of this and um, I'm satisfied that it's about as good as I can get it. I think it's going to be okay, especially at arm's length. Yeah, these details you can actually see at arm's length, sort of. Okay, let's, uh, let's do the other one now. Okay, I don't know which way is up, but it doesn't matter. We can figure that out later. Main thing is that we get the decal on the right way. Okay, as it turns out, I'm going to have to turn this 180 degrees because the way I grab onto this is this way. All right. This is the micro set. Okay, now we are going to manipulate with the knife. Just by pulling it on the corners. Um, no, it's got to go more to the right here. There, I'm trying to get these two knobs lined up perfectly. Um, and, and I basically do but then this centerpiece isn't in, in the right place you know they did pretty good you know I'm, I'm just gonna 
I'm just going to let that uh, evaporate now. And uh, I don't know if I should do the thirsty brush thing here at this stage or not. Could be that, that there's too much uh, micro set underneath, if you know what I mean. In which case it's going to want to float. I'm just trying to suck the, the water up. Okay, I'm swabbing it off. Sucking it from the edges. I'll come in and suck from this edge. Sort of like a blotter. Now, I don't want to get too aggressive here and, and spoil this because we basically got it. It's probably to within a tenth of a millimeter of being in the right place. You can see it's starting to... Um, yeah. Are we ready for the microsol yet? Just trying to get the water out from underneath there. This one is not going quite as good. It could be that once we do the microsol thing, it, it will. Okay, let's get the cap back on our micro set and we will, or micro saw rather, and we will, no, micro set. Solve a set. <laughs> okay, we got, we opened the solve a set. Now we're going to let that do its thing. And hopefully. If I just turn it a little bit, maybe you can see it better this way. I don't know. I'm not looking at the monitor at the moment. I'm just trying to get it so that all of the plastic of the decal is is uh, you know being uh, mel melded. I guess that's. I, I think it is. I think it is. Okay, we'll just. Once again, we'll do the we'll do the heat gun thing and uh, time lapse. Okay, here we go. Okay. I used the uh, heat gun here, and uh, what have we got? It sort of looks like the, not everything is lined up, but it's uh, it's not too bad. Yeah, it's not too bad, it's, it's going to have to do. Okay, there were only four decals to put on, we have put on four. And uh, just maybe maybe what we could do is uh, we have time this evening to put 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 this on the bulkhead. I want to be careful that I don't touch the surface because it could be that the that the surface, being as it is warm. Oh, by the way, the heat gun was adjusted as low as it would go and still be hot or warm, 140 degrees Fahrenheit. So. Uh, yeah, I, I think we did pretty good. I like the way that little... I'll put this thing the, the other way around here. Okay, get it in this, if I can get it in the center, that is. Okay, I like the way there appears to be a little dial. Right, right, I won't touch it, but right there is a little dial. That's kind of cool. You can, almost, you can almost read it, you can almost see the hands on it. At least or maybe it's my imagination. Okay, let's uh, stick this thing down where it's supposed to go.
There we go. Okay, we got one more to put on here. And I'm going to have to reposition. Now there was glue on the inside of, of each one of those pieces that we just put on now which hopefully is going to run down and uh, yeah and if you remember we didn't have to paint the bottom of this because there's going to be a, a deck going going right here okay I think we did good this evening okay I know you can't see the clock right now but we've only been at this for about an hour sure went a lot better than the last uh, two we did Okay, yeah, we'll see you in the morning. Well, it is morning. And speaking of morning, we did have a nice sunrise this morning. It wasn't as spectacular as the ones we were doing uh, three years ago when we set the camera up and uh, videoed out the back window around the longest day of the year, if you remember. Um, anyway, it was nice. And I'll put it at the end of today's episode, if I remember. Okay, now this, this piece here has to be painted the number 338. Okay, so we'll be able to use one of Chris's alligator clips for that. That'll be handy. And uh, this piece here, it also has to be painted the 338. And we could probably use, uh, let's see, would Chris's alligator clip damage that? Let's just carefully, oh, I could maybe use one of these. It's got one of these uh, heat shrink things on it. That's not going to hurt it. I'll be able to paint most most of the, yeah, you know, I'll be able to paint most of it, and then that one piece that's left. And the 338 is pretty much the same color, even if I forget, it won't matter. Okay, so we got that ready to go. Now uh, we got a couple of pieces here that actually can be dropped on right now, and uh, we'll put the macro lens on for that. They go here and here. And I don't know if there's a, a right way and a wrong way to do these or not. I, th I think they're uh, what you might call symmetrical or something. Oh no, they are different. Okay, I better just check. Okay, yeah, I, I can see they have to go. Yeah, they're actually these things here. They have to go one way up. We'll, well, we'll check that out when we get to it. Okay, we, we are so close to almost being done uh, step 19 here. Okay, and this one can go down here. We won't lose it. That's ready to go. Uh, the fire extinguisher, we have to paint it the number 7 red here on the bottom. So we can do that. I'm just getting myself lined up here with everything that I need to do. Then the door... The, the the door goes in this on this door frame and let's get it mounted right this time with there I was noticing when I was putting this on the alligator clip that there are places where the hinge actually goes now th this where the uh, where the uh, ejection pin marks are I, I think that's what you call them uh, that will go on the inside you won't see that that'll be facing away from us and the door very carefully now don't break off the little door handle the door hand it goes something like this yeah yeah it's gonna work out okay 
Um, all right, let's uh, let's recompose here and uh, let's let's do the uh, three thirty eight stuff first. It's the biggest.
Okay, this is the Tamiya Thick. should use a different tweezer here. See if I can grab it with Tony's tweezer. And I had not wanted that much glue. Well let's let's not push down on it then. Okay, I think they're straight. Just make sure they're as far down towards the bottom so that the uh, hatch doesn't catch. Okay, now try and get some of the. Uh, maybe I should have done this one first. Getting a different tweezer here. I want a skinny tweezer. Now, where are those pins? going in they almost are I've got to try and Probably getting it just where I want it here. Oh, my thumb's in bad shape here, isn't it? Better get some, I guess we'll call it salve on it. Now, I got this thing here. Now, uh, let's see, are we gonna have to maybe repaint where, where, where the uh, where the thing was holding on. That's just about it. Yeah, that, that is it. Uh, okay, I'll lift it back up and, uh, and I'll try and get some of the thick just around this edge right here. Sure, we got it. All right. 
Okay, we got that. Okay, I realize the bottom of the fire extinguisher is not painted, but when you realize that the deck is going to go right here, in fact, the positioning pin slot is right here, so there's maybe only about, you know, there's no way we're going to see that, so I'm not going to worry about it. You should be able to hear that tap, 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 tap. That's water dripping. I looked at my thermometer a few minutes ago and it's uh, plus 10. At least at that particular spot it's plus 10. But there's still too much snow on the street for me to get out on my e-bike this afternoon, but it's definitely warm enough. Okay, now I got the handle on the other side where it will be seen. I gotta try and block this up here now. I think I'll just take my little square here and lay it on there. And then I'll just move this over until the handle bumps up against it. Like that. Okay, let's just let that dry. Okay, I got stuff I want to do in my workshop today. I got to finish that, uh, cut the legs for that special sawhorse that I'm going to be building for outside. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching everybody. And all being well, we're going to see you tomorrow.